Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. One of the great features of Publisher is that you have the freedom to move and rearrange all of the objects anywhere you want to on the page. In this lesson, we'll discuss moving, resizing, and rotating objects within your publication page. Before you do any of these activities, however, you should first click on the object that you would like to manipulate in order to select it. You can tell when an object has been selected because it will appear with a solid border that contains small white circles and squares around its perimeter. These are resizing handles, and you use these to resize the object if needed. It will also have a small green circle on a perpendicular line at the top of the selected object. This is the rotation handle that will allow you to rotate the selected object. To move a selected object within the page, you can click on the border of the selected object at any place where there is not a resizing handle until you see a small four-pointed arrow appear at the end of your mouse pointer. When you see this, you can then click and drag the object to its new location. You can also resize by clicking and dragging like that. Remember before we were talking about text boxes and sometimes when you move them, the text does not all appear within the text box and you need to resize it. And that happens sometimes when you're moving. Now, when the object is in its desired location, you just simply release your mouse pointer to set it. Now, note that this technique is mainly used with text boxes or other text-containing shapes. When moving pictures and clip art, you can usually hold your mouse pointer directly over the center of the graphic in order to see the four-pointed arrow icon appear at the end of your mouse pointer. You then click and drag just like we did before, and then release it wherever you want it to be moved to. Now, you cannot do this move with text-containing shapes, as when you click into the middle of a text-containing shape or a text box, you only place the insertion point into the text box as if you were editing the text that it contains you should use the border to move text-containing objects. You can also select an object in your page and then press the arrow keys on your keyboard to nudge the selected object incrementally. Like that. You can resize any selected objects by using the resizing handles that surround the perimeter of the selected object. To do this, move your mouse pointer over the resizing handle that corresponds to the direction in which you want to resize the object until you see your mouse pointer turn into a two-pointed arrow. So for example, on this object, if we want to resize it, we'll click, see how it turns into a double-pointed arrow there. Now, all you do then is just click and drag to resize it like that. Now, as you click and drag, you'll see a dashed border appear to indicate the new size that the object will be when you release your mouse button. And then you just release the mouse button when you've achieved the desired size. Also note that when you are resizing objects, you can resize an object in all directions at once or proportionally by holding down the control key when clicking and dragging to resize the object. Like that. You can rotate a selected object by placing your mouse pointer over the small green circle that appears at the top of the object until your mouse pointer turns into a circular arrow icon. When this occurs, you can click and drag left or right in order to rotate the selected object. As you click and drag, you'll see a faded version of the selected object appear to indicate where the object will be located when you release the mouse pointer. So you just click and drag like that. 
to rotate it, and then you can click out to deselect it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.